Yo, what's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Ty, man. So five tips to grow a small forex trading account in 2020. Five simple tips to grow a small forex trading account in 2020. Okay, so check it out. Look, the first tip is, hey, do not over leverage your account. Man, look, let's say you got $100 in your account. The, a 2% risk would be 0 0.02, okay? Now, if you were just to use that and you were, let's just say you were to lose that 0 0.02, let's say you were to lose 10 pips on that, that's $2, okay? So in a sense, you got 50 chances to flip that account, 50 chances to make something happen. I know you're like, oh, on a 0 0.02, on a micro lot, I can't make any money. Hey, we're trying to grow a small account. We're not trying to rush this shit. You feel me? We just want to take it slow and slowly grow this thing. See, now you're investing. Now you're in the investor's mind. You can even use a 0 0.01. I know some people are going to tell you, hey, yeah, use a 0 0.10. Okay, that's 10% of your account. That shit goes minus 20 pips or minus $20. Now you have $80 in your account from that $100. So I'm just teaching you the ways of a real actual investor because a lot of people, I know that you got these fast flipping stories and you want to get rich quick. Hey, but if you were just to be smart and learn investing and understanding money, then you will understand that the power of investing is in the power of compounding. So I wrote down a little thing right here just so I can, you know, keep myself on the on the thing. So step number two. So the first thing we were like, don't over leverage, all right? And use and take smaller trades, all right? So number two is you got to be confident. Now, a lot of people, like the, the setup will come, but they're afraid to make that move. And I get a lot of people in my inbox, they're like, yo, Ty, how do I enter? And how do I exit? Bro, I always tell you guys, I wait for the break. I wait for confirmation and then I get in. So in a sense, I've already told you how to enter. You feel me? How do you exit? You put your take profit right there let's say you don't use a take profit and you just want to have this shit just cracking just to have it cracking and just let your trade run all you do literally have, have your have your goal in mind it's like with the business man everybody usually gets into business with the business plan they know how much they want to make they, they know how much they're willing to risk so if you're not having all of this inside of your trading plan then bro what are you doing you're failing yourself you won't be able to grow that account and we're not talking about growing big accounts we're talking about starting small and scaling up i'm saying that you yes you could get rich over the span of five years yes you become successful over the span of three to five years if you have a good compounding plan you know what i'm saying you got my man over there recording the, uh, recording the mm -hmm. car. <laughs> but hey, if you got a good compounding plan that's going to get you to the next level okay so um where's that number three number three right that's right bro i appreciate that man appreciate that <laughs> But number three, so number three, check it. Number three, if you want to grow these small accounts, you got to stay focused. So cut out all the noise. A lot of people have indicators and a lot of things on your charts. And hey, maybe that helps you make a decision. Maybe that helps stop the fear of you making that decision. You know what I'm saying? But the number one thing in life is you got to make decisions. You got to be able to get that shit cracking 100%. That's my dude Bobby right there. You feel me? You got to be able to make things happen. You can't be afraid to make that split decision because foreign exchange, um, foreign exchange investing requires you. It's basically high frequency trading so if you're not moving like this you feel me if you're not clicking like this you're not able to make those uh, split decisions like that bro this industry is not for you so you gotta you gotta leave all that bullshit all that noise in your mind you gotta take that and throw it out to the side and just be in this focused mindset to really get you to that next level that's how you'll be able to achieve you know greatness in a foreign exchange market that's how you'll be able to grow the small account but if you're afraid if you are afraid you will not be able to grow a small account shit if you're afraid you ain't even gonna be able to handle or capture none of your dreams because Bro, the people who go for their dreams, I'm gonna tell you a secret. They're not afraid. They get out there, they make that shit happen. Bro, I'm whipping a fucking wood grain Rolls Royce, nigga. Rims on 26 inches, you know what I'm saying? But but beyond that fact, I'm just saying, bro, I'm a fucking shark. I got out here and I made that shit happen. So if you wanna grow a small account, you can't be afraid to enter that trade and make that shit happen. Enter the trade with confidence or enter the trade with, with enough risk, uh, with the rest, uh, ah, shit. Enter a trade with enough risk factor so you know, hey, this is all I can lose. What you have in your mind, hey, this is all I can lose, then you can literally go to the next level because you're like, oh, I can only lose $20. Oh, I can only lose $100 on this trade. But your maximum gain, your potential is just next level. All right, so what am I on? Number four now? I believe so. The SVJ kind of. Oh, the SVJ? Kinda, oh, yeah, you, uh, can, you can show that too. Yeah, they go to the SVJ. I mean, the supercars all throughout yeah, the yeah. building, baby. Oh, what up, G? What up? What up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you didn't want to join. His license plate. We're gonna break out the license plate, but hey, look, day in the life shit. You feel me? So you never know what you're gonna see, man. They like, yo, time that be happening, bro. That's all you that's fucking every see day. every day. You feel me? Watch but the last video when we was in a jacuzzi. <laughs> you just hear room. Only, me. <laughs> only. So number four, um, growing that small account. Um, we already talked about taking risks. Okay, so now's the time to be calm and become the surfer. Become the old surfer. Um, 
be patient wait for your trades hey you don't have to be in a rush you don't have to there's this investing game is not about being in a rush it's about taking your fucking time and scaling up over time you know what i'm saying so a lot of people they be trying to rush it what's up man they be trying to rush it they be trying to rush it they be trying to rush it because you want to get rich by, by fucking tomorrow bro and at the end of the day the only people who are going to get rich by tomorrow are the people who play the fucking lottery and trust me all they're doing is wasting their money <laughs> All they doing is wasting their money, man. So take your time. Wait for that trade to come. Be like the surfer in the ocean. Just sit back and wait, okay? Like me, I'll sit back, I'll wait. Okay, boom. Let's say I'm looking at the four hour and I don't get a break. Let's say it's consolidation. I'm sitting back waiting. Once it breaks, I'm like, oh, okay, boom. I see the break. I'll go into a smaller time frame, like the 15 minute, the five minute, the one hour. Really looking for that true break. Really looking for that true break. I look for, um, I look for, let's, let's say it's breaking to the downside. I'm looking for bearish selling signals on the five minute, selling signals on the 15, selling signals. But I'm looking for selling signals to confirm this is a true break. All I do is throw my top loss. Um, not top loss throw my stop loss right above that old resistance you feel me let's say consolidation is like this you got uh resistance at the top and support at the bottom how do i take the trade ty boom once it breaks i throw my stop loss right on top of that old resistance and let that fucking market drop if it's buying i throw my stop loss right under that old support and let that motherfucker bounce right up to the top you feel me they're like what if it takes me out bro if it takes you out it takes you out baby that's the game you know what i'm saying so number five, we talked about being calm. Um, number five is uh, stick to your plan. Plan. That's how you're gonna grow that small account. Stick to your plan. Like I said, a lot of people want to jump the gun. You guys want to do more than what you what, you got. You guys want to do more than what your account allows you to do. You feel me? Um, you got a plan to. Oh, I'm only gonna come in and make twenty a day. I'm only gonna come in and make hundred a day. I'm only gonna come in and make X amount a day, bro. A hundred dollars a day. Okay to your account so yeah you can't trade weekends so let's just use five times four that's two that's th th with five trading days let's say you feel me and i'm saying four with five times four four weeks so four weeks times five hundred dollars is two bands so hey a hundred dollars a day in the market bro get you two uh, two uh, extra grand at the end of your month okay you scale it up to next month then you're doing 200 a day right now you have four grand then you scale it up the next month now you have 300 a day now you're doing what six grand you feel me well is that six grand hold on let me do the math in my head real quick um fucking 300 a day times um five times four a week yeah six grand boom there we go you feel me i'm gonna put some mean shit across my head when i do that it's gonna be funny as hell but look that's i'm teaching you guys how to stay in your plan man and how to really move that shit you know what i'm saying so i got me right there on the camera we got the wood green you know what i'm saying y'all see what it is so we got the wood green um my little daily joint about to go to starbucks and just really enjoy our day you know what i'm saying and um i know a lot of people are like yo give us more damn life and we got you you feel me but i want to drop these for you because i think these mindset trainings is going to get your fucking mind right to really just scorn and get into that next level so you guys you know um you get the environment of what we're in and it's a bunch of lot of young rich nigga shit going on so hey if you guys want to scale up man and really just get to that next level stop being afraid stop, stop being a hey, cut all the bitch assness out take the fucking trade Throw in your little stop loss. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Fucker without a condom and you might end up with a baby <coughs> or AIDS, nigga. So use a stop loss. It's your boy Ty, and I'm out. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Ty, baby. <laughs> What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> what you mean? What kind of socks are those? Hey, baby. He got on his. He got on. Wait, wait. I'm talking to this. She said this nigga got wait. on Da Vinci socks. Hold on. Let's see Nikes. the other. Wait a minute, Ty, Ty <laughs> baby. What, what are you doing? <laughs> wait. <laughs> Oh, I see. She on my kneecap. <laughs> Luckily, I put on lotion this morning because she be trying to rush. Oh, she yeah. To oh, yeah, yeah, baby. But All right, so. We're going to see y'all, though. So, Dana, like, I'm about to close up. She's going to come over here, hop in. We're about to take off, go to Starbucks, shit like that. So, it's your boy, Ty, and I'm out.